Through this video, I'm going to share with you 10 life-changing frugal living tips that will transform your relationship with money and set you on a path towards financial freedom. These tips are not only practical and effective, but they are also lesser known strategies that many people don't know about. Let's dive in. Tip one, use online resources for free education. Did you know that you can now access high quality educational resources for free online? That's right, no more pricey tuition fees or overwhelming student loan debt. Thanks to the power of the internet, you can now learn about virtually any topic under the sun from the comfort of your own home and at absolutely no cost to you. Whether you're looking to expand your skill set, learn a new language, or simply explore a new hobby, online resources for free education can help you get there. And the best part, these resources are often created by experts in their respective fields. So you know you're getting quality education. From instructional videos to online courses to webinars, the possibilities are endless. You can even earn certifications and degrees online without ever stepping foot in a traditional classroom. So if you're looking to invest in yourself and your future without breaking the bank, then online resources for free education are the way to go. Start exploring today and discover a whole new world of knowledge and opportunity that awaits you. The power is in your hands. Tip two, take advantage of free community resources. From free public parks to community gardens to local libraries, there are countless opportunities to take advantage of what your community has to offer. One of the best ways to save money and connect with your community is to take advantage of free community resources. These resources are often overlooked or underutilized, but they can be invaluable in helping you live a more frugal and fulfilling life. For example, your local library is a goldmine of free resources, including books, audiobooks, DVDs, and even online courses. Community centers often offer free fitness classes, art workshops, and other recreational activities. And public parks are a great place to get outside, exercise, and enjoy the beauty of nature. By taking advantage of these free community resources, you not only save money, but also support your local community and connect with others who share your interests. It's a win-win situation. So the next time you're looking for something to do, don't overlook what your community has to offer. You might be surprised at what you find. Tip three, barter or trade services. Money doesn't have to be the only currency in the world. In fact, some of the most valuable exchanges happen without a single dollar changing hands. That's where the power of bartering and trading comes in. Bartering or trading services is a fantastic way to save money and connect with others in your community. Instead of paying cash for goods or services, you can exchange your own skills or resources with someone else who has what you need. For example, if you're a graphic designer, you could trade your services with a web developer who needs some design work done. If you're a carpenter, you could barter your skills with a plumber who needs some home repairs. The possibilities are endless. Not only does bartering and trading save you money, but it also helps to build relationships and connect with others in your community. It's a more personal and meaningful way to do business, and it allows you to support local entrepreneurs and small businesses. So the next time you need a product or service, consider bartering or trading instead of paying cash. It's a powerful way to save money, build relationships, and make a positive impact in your community. Tip four, try free trials strategically. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. While free trials can be a great way to test out a product or service before committing to a purchase, they can also be a trap if not used strategically. The key is to be intentional with your free trials and use them to your advantage. One way to do this is to set reminders for yourself to cancel the free trial before the trial period ends. This way, you can enjoy the benefits of the product or service without getting charged later on. Another strategy is to use free trials strategically by signing up for them only when you know you'll have the time to actually use the product or service. Additionally, you can maximize your free trials by taking advantage of all the features and benefits they offer during the trial period. This way, you can get a better sense of whether the product or service is worth investing in. Tip five, use energy saving gadgets. Did you know that you can save money and reduce your carbon footprint by simply using energy saving gadgets? From smart thermostats to energy efficient light bulbs, these devices can help you reduce your energy consumption and save on your utility bills. One example of an energy saving gadget is a smart power strip. This device allows you to control the power usage of your devices and appliances, even when they're not in use. By turning off the power to these devices when they're not needed, you can save on energy costs and reduce your environmental impact. Another energy saving gadget that can make a big difference is an energy efficient light bulb. These bulbs use less energy and last longer than traditional incandescent bulbs, which means you'll save money on your electricity bill and reduce waste. And if you're looking to save on your heating and cooling costs, a smart thermostat can help. These devices can learn your habits and adjust the temperature in your home accordingly, which can save you money and reduce your energy consumption. Tip six, take advantage of credit card perks. By taking advantage of credit card perks, you can save money and enjoy exclusive benefits that can make a big difference in your life. One example of a credit card perk is cashback rewards. Many credit cards offer cashback rewards for purchases made with the card, which means you can earn money back for the things you're already buying. 
This can be especially helpful for everyday purchases like groceries and gas. Another credit card perk to look out for is travel rewards. Some credit cards offer points or miles that can be redeemed for flights, hotels, and other travel expenses. This can help you save on your next vacation or business trip. And if you're a frequent shopper, you may want to consider a credit card that offers discounts and exclusive deals at your favorite stores. These perks can help you save money on the things you love and make your shopping experience more enjoyable. But remember, credit card perks only work if you use your card responsibly. Make sure to pay your balance in full each month to avoid interest charges and keep your credit score in good standing. Tip 7. Utilize cashback apps. Cashback apps work by partnering with retailers to offer you cashback on your purchases. All you have to do is download the app, browse the available offers, and make your purchase through the app. It's that simple. Some cashback apps even offer additional rewards for things like scanning your receipts or referring friends to the app. These extra rewards can add up quickly and help you save even more money. And the best part, cashback apps are completely free to use. There is no cost to download the app or sign up for an account. So why not give it a try and start earning cashback on your purchases today? Of course, like with any financial tool, it's important to use cashback apps responsibly. Make sure you're not overspending just to earn cashback and always pay your credit card balance in full to avoid interest charges. Tip 8. Find ways to earn extra income. It's time to start thinking outside the box and finding ways to earn extra income. There are countless ways to earn extra income, whether it's through a side hustle, freelance work, or starting your business. The key is to find something that you're passionate about and that aligns with your skills and interests. One great way to start earning extra income is by taking advantage of online platforms like Fiverr or Upwork, which connect freelancers with clients who need their services. You can offer anything from writing and editing to graphic design or even voiceover work. If you're more of a hands-on person, consider starting a side hustle like dog walking, pizza sitting, or house cleaning. These types of services are always in demand and can be a great way to earn extra income on your own schedule. And if you're really ready to take the leap, Starting your own business can be a great way to build a sustainable source of extra income. Think about what skills or services you can offer and create a business plan that outlines your goals and strategies for success. Of course, earning extra income takes time and effort, and it's important to be realistic about your goals. But with dedication and hard work, you can start earning extra income and take control of your financial future. Tip 9. Learn to cook. Cooking is not only a valuable life skill, but it's also a great way to save money and eat healthier. By learning how to cook, you can create delicious and nutritious meals at a fraction of the cost of eating out. But don't be intimidated by the kitchen. Cooking can be fun, creative, and even therapeutic. Start by learning a few basic recipes and techniques and gradually build your skills and gradually build your skills and repertoire. Investing in a few key kitchen tools and equipment can also make a big difference in your cooking experience. A good set of knives, pots and pans, and cooking utensils can go a long way in making your utensils can go a long way in making your time in the kitchen enjoyable and efficient. And don't forget about the power of meal planning and batch cooking. By planning out your meals for the week and cooking in bulk, you can save time and money while still enjoying delicious and varied meals. Learning to cook is a journey, and it's important to give yourself grace and patience as you navigate the ups and downs of the kitchen. But with practice and persistence, you'll soon be whipping up meals that rival your favorite restaurant dishes, and at a fraction of the cost. Tip 10. Embrace minimalism. Many of us accumulate belongings over time, often without realizing how much we have until we move or declutter. The truth is, we don't need most of what we own, and the things we do need could fit into a much smaller space than we think. Minimalism is not just about getting rid of physical clutter. It's about creating more space and time for the things that matter most in life. By embracing a minimalist lifestyle, you can save money, reduce stress, and live more intentionally. One way to start practicing minimalism is to declutter your living space. Begin by going through your belongings and separating the essentials from the non-essentials. Keep only the things that serve a purpose or bring you joy and donate or sell the rest. Another way to embrace minimalism is to rethink your consumption habits. Do you really need to buy that new outfit or gadget? Can you borrow or rent it instead? By reducing your consumption, you'll save money and reduce your impact on the environment. Finally, remember that minimalism is a journey, not a destination. It's okay to take it slow and make small changes over time. The key is to stay mindful and intentional about the things you bring into your life. Remember, frugal living isn't about depriving yourself of the things you love, but rather about being mindful of your spending and finding creative ways to make your money work harder for you. By embracing a more intentional and minimalist lifestyle, you can not only save money, but also simplify your life and focus on the things that truly matter.